Why is the Kenyatta family involved in causing this instability? They are the richest family in not in, Af not in Kenya, in Africa. Is that, and they have, they have sent emissaries, let me even be very clear. They have sent emissaries that uh, the Kenyatta, the former president and his family should be left alone. Nobody can guarantee them that. Why not? No, let me tell you. That guarantee given to them should also be given that guarantee to ordinary citizens like you and me. If there is an audit issue, for example, on the subsidy, and it falls within the, the former administration of Kenyatta, the public and parliament and institutions will discuss. His former ministers, if they have issues, the independent institutions can still carry. It happened not only in this presidency, it happened in previous presidency under the NAC administration. So you're asking me what advice do we give to the president? Yes. And that's why the president is very consistent. The whole shenanigans, what is going on, is to have a handshake, bring Raila Odinga into government so that he can hold brief and do bidding for the Kenyatta family on the crimes that has been committed against the people of Kenya during their last five, four years of the administration. So what is the advice? The president has been very consistent that he will at all times uphold the constitution, the rule of law, protect uh, the citizens' uh, right and property and lives, and that he will not allow, uh, uh, he will be the, the president that will make sure that uh, the law and the constitution is followed. That's why even outside this chaos, mm will be the administration that will, and we'll talk about it, the that will bring an end to banditry in the North in, Rift. In the North Rift. Yes. Mm. Is there so that, that is the advice we have given to the president. He has been very consistent. Is there advice on the route to justice, bringing those who are behind this to justice? Uh, uh, behind which, which now? Which is it that There's instability that you're talking about. These individuals within the Kenyatta family. No, Take them to court, no, anyone? You know, that is not even, it is not a function of the president or the mm. cabinet. That is a function of independent institutions, the EACC, the DPP, uh, the police, the controller of budget. She's already talking that in three days to the election, on the election day, when me and you were voting, there were people who were forcing her to allow withdrawal of 15 billion. Uh, the, the, the auditor general, you know? These are the institutions that the 2010 constitution has created. It's not for William Ruto. William Ruto is, and his government will just give the policy direction. Mm. So I think uh, uh, my advice, and I have worked with him for eight and a half years, he's a very good f uh, friend of mine, the former president. My advice is uh, emulate the former presidents. And I don't think uh, William Ruto is not the person to be uh, scared. It's, it's not somebody that you can push him. Mm. Because he has one thing which is important, even important for somebody like me who come from a minority community in our country, everybody in this country will always be protected by the constitution okay. and by institutions like the judiciary. Let's take so William break. must protect and must defend the constitution.